Ever since the pandemic, office dress codes have changed. When people came back to the office, corporate America accepted t-shirts, jeans, and even sweatpants. But these same corporations are still focused on shoes. More people are sent home for shoes than any other dress code rule. Well, why are shoe dress codes the biggest office rule? You're sitting at a desk all day. Only other employees can see you. And management still to this day focuses on what shoes people are wearing. And not all ladies want to wear heels all day. Why are office dress codes still focused on shoes? You can mainly thank these guys. Men who grew up never wearing ladies' shoes all day and do not have much sense of current ladies' fashions. Now, we're not asking for cheap flip-flops at the office, but when you're sitting at an office cubicle all day, how important are your shoes to customers? Has anyone out there had a customer ask you what kind of shoes are you wearing? That would get extremely creepy. Whenever no one is looking, many ladies have one of their high heels off. And half the ladies in the office have their shoes off under their desk sometimes anyway. So, how can we fix this? Well, most people don't even know that going barefoot is healthy. There is a term called earthing. There are many health benefits to having your bare foot touch the ground. Wearing rubber under your foot stops any health benefits like reducing body inflammation and chronic pain, improves sleep, increases energy, reduces blood pressure, and even lowers stress. It even helps with arthritis, hypertension, and can even assist with glucose levels for diabetics. But even though you're in an office all day, you can have the effects of earthing by using a grounding mat under your desk. Grounding mats are sold by places like groundtherapy.com or you could even find one on Amazon. We just want to be healthy at work. Your employees would love and appreciate this freedom. Management allowing employees to wear open shoes can increase productivity and have less body pain. No one wants to wear painful shoes all day, every day. So why is this a big deal to corporate America to allow open shoes at the office? Well, businesses try to hide behind insurance policies, but that is a myth. Believe me, we have researched extensively. Insurance providers never ever write dress code rules for offices. They do not give discounts to requiring closed shoes or they do not pay a premium to allow open shoes. Insurance companies do not write that in any policies. Well, sometimes they claim it is against the law or against the health department to allow open shoes in the office. Once again, this is 100% fake news. Now here is a letter from one of the many letters we have from state health departments. I specifically worded these to verify the office dress code rules. And as you can see, the health departments do not inspect call centers or other general offices. We have even heard companies will not allow open shoes because a filing cabinet can fall on your foot. Now mind you, these corporate filing cabinets take three strong men and a forklift to move. But somehow it is going to fall on your foot, but only if your toes are showing. Some companies will say you can wear open shoes, but you have to wear socks or nylons because they will protect you from these special filing cabinets. Yes, these magical nylons will somehow protect your foot. Well, why are they so worried about your feet? Why don't they just require helmets if the workplace is that unsafe? What about requiring gloves in case you use the printer and get a paper cut? Just more excuses. 
It is not hurting anyone for the office to allow the wearing of sandals in today's current fashion trends. The supervisors do not have to do shoe dress code checks and send people home. The customers? Well, most of them are wearing sandals, flip-flops, or even barefoot themselves. Why would they be offended if someone in an office is not wearing high heels? You can still dress professional while wearing open shoes. And please, when you allow open shoes at work, do not force them to wear pantyhose with them to be in dress code. Now here I wanted to share some of the dress code rules various companies try to use. When you see the pictures, you will also ask, what are the rule makers thinking when they make these rules? As you can see by the visual examples, these rules make no sense. It is annoying the hardworking employees who have enough stress working on the phones or creating reports. It annoys the supervisors for having to constantly check people's shoes, which has nothing to do with work. There was no way I would ever believe that the back of a shoe, a nylon sock, or a strap between the toes makes a difference when working at your desk. People are tired of this. Managers hate enforcing it. No one likes the rules. Please, let everyone have their foot freedom.